Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how you can record and play audio with a Swift uh, project. Also, you need to know that you can find the project source code in comment below. Actually, there is a link to GitHub uh, in comment below that uh, you can get this whole project source code. Okay, so let's start a new project, but before that, uh, I have this project running and I will show you how it's going to be. So let's start to record. I tap here and it's talking. Recording, test, test, one, two, one, two. Recording, test, test, one, two, one, two. Recording test test one two one two. Yeah, here you go. And so uh, let's start the project. But uh, I'm gonna override this. If uh, so, I'm gonna close it. And uh, if do not, I do not close it. It's gonna be read only. I cannot override it. So I close it, and I start new project. So file new project. single view app okay name it iOS Swift audio record and play next ask me where you want to save it yes final iOS create Okay, now I got the warning that it exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I'm going to replace it. Maybe you don't, so make sure what you're going to replace. Do not overwrite one of your existing projects. I'm going to do it now again, so uh, not a big deal. We do it with this project all together now. Okay, so uh, what we need to do now, first of all, we will go to main storyboard and make uh, start to making our user interface. And here, what I need, I need two button. So I say button. Here, come and sit here for me. I'll go to size inspector tab. Yes, size inspector tab. And I say, okay, my button white should be 200 height should be 200 then I'll go to attribute inspector tab and I say my button will be record start point and text color yellow background color red okay and uh, yeah I believe we are good oh size of the uh, text is too small so I come here and I say yeah text twenty seven yeah so as soon as you push enter it will update this one okay so I'm gonna say also this button I want to be have two constraint that make fixed wide and high with 200 here you go so I'm gonna now select this button command C command V so I make a copy of that But this time I don't want to be record, so this one will be play. And just background, I make it blue. There you go. Okay, enter this one. Okay, now you know you will see that it this one because I copy paste with constraint, uh, so there is constraint as well. So I select these two. 
so when I push command and click on this one it will select both of them I go to editor embed and make them stack view yeah here and I say spacing between them 5 and at the end I will say okay align this for me horizontally and vertically cool and so we're good so if you see if I come here and I say okay how gonna be in landscape you'll see it's still it's good it's perfect because it's depends it's gonna be in the middle always okay so let's go back to orientation uh, sorry let's go back to portrait and uh, start a project okay so what I need I need to connect this to my view controller so I open assistant editor and uh, yeah uh, what I need I'm gonna delete this function I'm not I don't need it and here I need some space and here also so here what I need to do so from uh, you know here in my stack view I have two buttons you know I can drag from here or here but I'm gonna do it from here so I, I choose record button control drag here and I name it record button and also from this one control drag so this one will be my play button so play button also again from this record I need to start my record action I say sender uh, this one say UI button I say yeah oh, actually it should be action yeah <laughs> yes yeah, so record action and uh, any top up inside trigger this function and the other one for play action I name it play action and connect okay so we done with all connections let's uh, go to our view controller so I can close this assistant editor and go into view controller let me yeah so here let do some cleanup okay here I need some variable to be available in all of my class which is variable sound recorder type AV audio yeah it should offer me AD audio AV audio recorder I miss something I promise you even if not gonna accept this for me yes you know what here I said should say import AV foundation then it will go this error and also I'm gonna make this class view controller to be subclass of AV audio recorder delegate and AV audio player delegate okay so I need to make sure this one gets inherited uh, from these to be subclass of these two as well so plus UI view controller I need some function to pick up from uh, 
AV audio recorder and AV audio player okay so here now you will see when I say okay my sound player I should be type AV audio just wait for a few seconds yes here you will see AV audio player yeah so start to offer me should be like that if not there is something wrong okay so now we need variable uh, for a file name and uh, I say string we just now do everything over one file in other tutorial you will find in uh, my channel soon uh, you will find you know that uh, I will use the uh, core data plus uh, uh, table view to you know record these with uh, different names and have them over there and play from them uh, but you need to be subscribed in later when it's coming you be uh, you know get idea that it's come yeah, actually it's published okay so yeah we done with our uh, actually variable inside this scope mm, global or public variables okay so uh, view did load we need to do something there but not now okay I need to have some function here actually to make some function first of all I need to make function so this function name will be get documents directory yeah uh, param parameter no input parameter but return will be URL URL okay and what about in there so I'm here I will make paths so I ask file manager come on yeah file manager default you are else so I'm gonna get that right so from file name file manager in user domain which domain actually okay so here uh, in file manager should be document directory and inside user domain mask yeah and then this function return from paths first element zero okay so now I have a uh, paths default paths I can record my file in there okay so let's record so we will go to in this time function this function will be my setup recorder yeah no parameter input and also no outputs just setup so here I said let audio file name equal get document directory and append at the end as a path my file name which has declared in this top okay also I need to create another constant which is our record setting it will be an array so this array will be have some elements first of all first of them AV format ID key and 
appending hat component this one no oh, sorry not appending what I'm doing no 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 uh, so this one will be type of so a a b format id key which type k audio format apple lose less okay so next one av encoder bitrate key this will be av audio quality so which quality maximum raw value the next one will be av encoder man bitrate yeah this one i make a mistake this one should be av sorry guys av encoder quality yes quality kill will be maximum and bitrate key will be 3200000 and av number of channel key 2 and av capital av sample rate key 41 44 1000 actually 44 and this one two okay but this one I say as string type any okay so this array it's uh, this one is fully down also I want this to be here okay now I'm gonna start my do catch so do okay what I'm do for catch I say okay print error and what I do in do so here I just say okay my sound recorder will be equal okay so I try AV audio recorder function with two input element make sure to pick up this one because I'm gonna give it a, you know setting string any so I pick up this one so URL will be my audio file name and the setting will be record setting I have something else to do so for sound recorder delegate should be self and sound recorder now call prepare to record okay so we done with this part we uh, did uh, this function will set up our uh, recorder also we need another function for set up our player okay so function 
setup player again no parameter input and output so for player again I'm gonna use this one and so file will be the same because I'm gonna play that one and I do uh, you know I uh, try one do catch so I start do and so for catch print error yeah okay what I need to do here now so now this one sound player equal try av audio player so yeah url actually av audio player pick up content of a url and the URL will be my audio file okay so if uh, we start this one then we say sound player dot delegate equal self and then we'll say sound player dot prepare to play and then we say sound player volume will be 1.0 not 10 sorry 1.0 okay so yeah we done with setup player as well okay so now we have another function this function will pick up when audio play finish and when audio record finish so here we go so I just say function audio record did finish recording we have uh, both ready so let me call the other one so function audio player did finish recording let me yes that it uh, it's found it and show it to you okay so what do I want to do in this situation so when recording finished I want to say play button yeah play button make it enable is enable equal true and when for you know just reverse uh, for player we work on record button we make it record button come on record button is enabled true yeah make this one true so make it enable also play button title set it for me set title Yeah, uh, let me wait for that one to offer me. It's gonna be title in text for and the normal. So set title. Let me make sure that everything is okay. Yeah, it should offer me a function. I don't know why it didn't give me. 
Okay, let me type it myself. Myself, so uh, say play. So for dot normal. Okay. So uh, let's see any other function we need. Uh, I believe no. So now we just uh, need to say okay. If a record uh, button, uh, you know, tapped or this function triggered what you want me to do oh that's why you know i say why it's not offering me you know when it's not offering you there is something wrong i just type it wrong okay so now it will be okay here we go so i say if record button dot title label text was equal with record do this else do that I'm gonna copy of this because I need to do something like that for play but just this one will be play button and this will be play okay so uh, for record for record we say okay sound sound recorder record start recording okay so you will start recording what else I need to do I need to say my record button that set title will be stop yeah you know we want to stop it if you want to stop it and and normal also we need to make our play button disable so it's enabled will be false okay uh, otherwise we're gonna stop it because uh, if it's not record text is not set to record it means that it's rec uh, you know already recording so we're gonna stop it so sound recorder dot stop and record button now title we're gonna set title to be record and normal and at the end play button play button is enabled false okay for uh, play if we tap play action so we gonna say okay play button set It's offered me set titled make it a stop title and also normal and record button 
make it disable equal false and so set up player for me and at the end sound player played for me and otherwise sound player stop it and play button dot set title should offer me offer me offer me no something right so play button set title okay play for dot normal and finally record button dot is enabled false okay so uh, we done let me run it and check it out to see if uh, I did everything good oh <laughs> we did view did load I always miss this part so in view did load we need to set up our recorder yes also we need to disable play button in the first we don't have any files so so our play button is enabled should be false for first beginning running okay so command s i'm gonna save it even if you don't doesn't matter when you run it it will save it itself okay so i'm gonna run it and see if i did everything right and yeah just uh, until this running let's review so what we did we make two outlet IB outlet one for record and one for button we connect them to uh, our buttons and uh, by this we were able to change that uh, title and uh, a title actually and uh, we create two function for triggering uh, you know those one and in these two functions we check if it's uh, text is record means that it's not recording so we start record if it's stop it means it's not record so it's uh, it's uh, it means it's recording and uh, we did this and uh, actually we stop recording and we changed the title to record and play and make it uh, make play disable and same for function play so if it was not play means that uh, it's not playing so we make it a stop and make it disable record button set up player and start to play and if it's it was not play means that it's already stopped so we we're gonna stop it and set title to play and yes, uh, we done uh, with uh, all coding part so the only things that we need to do make sure to do we need to go to info p list and inside info p list uh, you need to select this one and then uh, click that this plus button and here you will choose privacy so in privacy 
we choose microphone usage and here we say okay for identifier just show our identifier uh, pro duct name and say use microphone so this actually uh, it will show to your user that this user will use a uh, microphone and uh, so that's it now we done with uh, fully so we gonna run project and uh, yeah uh, so just review until we running the project uh, that uh, we add uh, you know import AV foundation and AV audio record delegate and AD audio player delegate to super class that we make our view controller a subclass for them and then we add uh, sound recorder and uh, uh, sound player instance and then we did uh, set up our recording and uh, player and with this one we check if uh, we could start uh, actually try uh, you know audio recorder and player and if it goes through then we start to prepare it and delegate it to self and uh, finally we played with uh, our buttons that you know when it's uh, to find out from title that it's already recording or deleting uh, or uh, sorry stopped and uh, yeah now we have it ready so let's test it out so I tap here and start talking for test recording test one two three one two three one two two Recording test one two three one two three one two two Recording test one two three one two yeah, you saw that I can stop it and go to record again. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like it, please make sure to give a thumbs up to being uh, more, uh, you know, available for folks that are looking for this uh, subject. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming every day. And thank you for watching us. And you can ask your question in comments uh, below. And uh, I wish the best for you and have a good one. Bye-bye.